Hey y'all, it's Rufotris, and we've moved into New York finally. So this is my little rock closet, my little uh, Harry Potter closet. <laughs> give you a little little close up, up view of it. Give you a little view of my rock closet here. It is not by any means put together. I am in the process of unpacking everything. But got the high tech diamond flat lap and a box of rocks and another box of rocks, another box of rocks. I think under that is another box of rocks. Um, this is a box of rocks. That's a box of rocks. That's a box of rocks. Those are boxes of rockses. Oh, more rocks. Those are full of rocks. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, a bucket full of rocks. I think I might have a few rocks left. Anyway. <laughs> hey, these aren't rocks. Those are coins. <laughs> Ooh, don't think I've shown a video with this one yet. That was an interesting find. Oh, but hey, this one's coming up later in this video. So anyway, getting settled in, gonna buy a storage unit to go under this shelf. A bunch of like little square displays to fill up with rocks there. I'm gonna take this corner space, another display shelving unit of some sort there. Only downside in that closet, no outlets, no lights, I'm running an extension cord. In here, it's just hooked up to this ring light for now, but we'll get something else sorted out. Some pay dirts. Got one, two, three, four, five. Five left to do. And just turned off the tumbler yesterday. Oh, where'd I set it? Hold on. Let's find it. One sec. Aha, it's in here. Okay, we'll open that up later. I guess I'll make that in the next video. We'll check out what's in the tumbler. I'm sorry, I'm like scatterbrained all over this closet today. So, point being, I wanted to share some things before I start this video today. Those things being that my phone keeps filling up on space. <laughs> I finally went and bought a little USB drive and uh, everything you're gonna see today was cut short. I didn't realize my phone wasn't recording at the end. So after I finish polishing up the pieces and stuff, I'll add some shots in from after that I took at home. Anyway, please enjoy. Dang, someone get that guy another Red Bull. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to get to the point of saying that was all filmed back on July 9th and 10th. And, you know, we're in New York now. It's already September. It's been two full months since I recorded that. Um, but it's finally time to put it out. <laughs> Had a lot going on, a lot going with the whole move and getting out here and recorded a lot while I was in Utah. Started putting that stuff out. But this was still when I was back in Idaho. And somehow I forgot about it. <laughs> Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy, and I was not able, oh, car, hope y'all enjoy. I was not able to show as much as I wanted because this was a rock show and other people's stuff. Not everyone wants you recording and showing their stuff on the Instagram and YouTube for, you know, my likes. It's not really fair. That's not why they are there. So I didn't get to show very much. I was nice and asked some people, hey, can I record your stuff for my YouTube? And some of them were like, uh, I don't know about that. So I'm like, that's fine, no problem. I will just watch and enjoy. But here's what I do have for y'all. Check it out. All right, we made it. We are at the Nessa Thunder Egg Days event. Let's check it out. I'll take care of this, you don't have to worry about it. Now take this and shake it. Can you do that? Shake it back and forth. Oh, Olympia, you're doing it. All bro. right, let's, let's yeah. move some of these around a little bit and let them get in the water. All right. Wash away all the nasty. Yep. Okay, now here's a bag. So, yep, here, I'll even hold it for you. So that's a piece of soda light. And that's a moonstone. That's a piece of clear quartz. And that one is too, I think. That's a 
We'll see what that guy was that he dropped in there. So they went ahead. Oh, so they All right, put the camera down for a minute, but we're at the rock show. Lots of awesome rocks here. I'm here to help out the Idaho Gem Club. They've been so awesome to me for the last few months. They have done so much to help me out. Dina's super awesome. Here's some stuff Rick has made. Ooh, wow. Yeah, Rick does amazing work. He just showed me the coolest amber full of termites. Yeah, he did an amber piece and it's just got a bunch of termites and all the bubbles. I can't believe how... Look at this. Oh, I know. What? Oh, oh, my glasses. Drop my glasses. Like, what is... It's, it's not a hematite. Called, it's called PSIL, like, fizzling, or... I don't know how to pronounce it. I think your girlfriend would really like to have What's that. that one called? This is beautiful. It's some kind of hematite. That's rock, what I thought. I don't remember the name of Hey, I want second place if it's got, fair with that one about five years did ago. You it's really? got an A. Someone who's got an A in their name needs that piece. That's just... I'm oh, like, like, yeah. yeah, there you go. That's cool. Like yeah, you're right. Or, uh, yeah. Question. Look at that. Go, oh, Rick. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. He does welcome. such good work. He does. Now we teach people how to do this at our workshop. If you have really expanded. We're, really, we're based out of Boise. Oh, yeah. And so... Um, Grab a flyer. But we do oh, workshops yeah. uh, at least twice a month. It's good stuff. And we have, well, we have seven of these machines and we have two people and we have saws and... So I decided to take a little time to walk around and check out the other booths and see what people had available. There was a handful of people coming up to the Gem Club booth and I wanted to let those that were there handle that. Oh, it's like a big old bee. Wow. So not only the big bee, but this one is kind of like a C. I should start playing the alphabet game with agates. Oh look. Here's an O. All right, got this thunder egg and this seam of plume agate that me and Troy got in a previous video when we were up at Graveyard Plume or Graveyard Point. I'm gonna go to Earthbright, see if he'll cut these for me. That's what I just had him cut. Some good plumes in there. It's mostly on formed agate. This really loose stuff up top is just falling apart. But this bottom part will make some nice calves. And then the thunder egg we had cut came out pretty cool. It's got some nice water lines in it. Cool. Well, I'm gonna get set up on the Cab King here and get polishing some rocks. So this one here I found a few weeks before in the Oahis, and I took it to a few different people and asked them what they thought it was without telling them where I found it or anything, and two of the three knew exactly where it came from, <laughs> but all three agreed that it was petrified wood. Which is not what I thought. I thought it was just a crazy agate with some fun colors and lines to it. But all three of them told me it was petrified wood and two of them knew that it was from the Oahis. So anyway, here I did a little uh, smoothing of it at home with my Dremel. But now we're going to use uh, the Cab King at the Idaho Gem Club booth at the fair. So that people coming by can have a little something to watch. Finish this up and we'll come back at the end. Right, here's one. I started in another video at the end of the Gem Club workshop day. Never got time to finish it. So, I'm gonna finish it now. Alright, not much time left. I'm gonna repolish this one. 
had some scratches. So I'm gonna repolish that real quick. All right, so here's that part that I mentioned where I ran out of storage and hadn't realized it. So I filmed, or thought I filmed, for like 20, 25 minutes or so, and then looked at my phone and realized it stopped and saw that it was full and just kind of gave up for the rest of the day. But I went home, took some pictures of everything that I bought and worked on, and here's something that I picked up while I was there. I did buy something, and I'm not usually a fan of buying rocks, but check this out. Oh wait, it's too mirrored. <laughs> That's funny. What a nice finish on that, but looks kind of like a fish. I'll get you some up close shots here. So this was my only purchase for the day and I just couldn't pass it up. I mean, it's got so much going on in it. Look at that. It looks kind of like a starfish, but also just like a fish when it's turned from the other side. And it's escaping me right now what these are called. Um, but these inclusions, you know, it's just so cool the way they flow. It almost looks like orange grass growing inside water or something. But it was just pretty wild looking and I could not pass it up for $10. That is all I paid for this. 10 bucks was a pretty killer deal. Anyway, I know I could look at this all day and I won't make y'all watch this for another 10 minutes, but look at this. It looks like a little mushroom in there. I know it's not, but... It's kind of interesting, that black little stalk and then a mushroomy looking bit, but then this was really cool. It's like if ants were building a little bridge or a little structure, a little micro lattice structure or something in there. And here's the three I worked on in the video. Now that they're dry, you can see much better polish. You can actually see this one's got druzy inside of it. A little druzy cave in there. Still did not get a perfect polish on this one, but it's much, much better than it was. You can see the way the lights bounce off it. It's pretty nice, but I did, you know, a weird shape, as I like to do. This one definitely still needs more of a fine polish. Let's take a look a little closer with the macro. I actually still don't see what tells them that it's wood. I don't see any cellular stuff. <clears throat> No noticeable cellular structure, but let's take a closer look. So yeah, even close up overall, I'm not really seeing what they could be talking about other than a little bit right there. But for the most part, you know, it just looks like fun agate to me, but they must know that there's a lot of agatized wood in that region. And that's most likely what this is then. Anyways, just like the Thunder Egg, I could sit and admire this piece all day long. And in fact, I've definitely admired this one for many, many hours since I polished it. And that's what a lot of these scratches are from, actually. Um, I did a pretty good polish on it, but it's gotten scratched up since then and even lived in my pocket for a few days. Yeah, so I gotta say I'm actually a little stumped on this one being wood. I 
might have taken off a little bit off the back since that video. All right, thank you all for watching today. I'm gonna hopefully have some live streams coming up soon where I go through and organize all my boxes of rocks. Get some storage units put up here like I was saying, some shelves here and big shelf under there and maybe something organized more on these metal racks. And yeah, we'll get some stuff set up and I wanna do some live streams and potentially some auctions and depending on how that goes, some giveaways. So stay tuned and we'll see y'all around. Thanks.